Hey everyone, it's Samantha. As you can tell, I got sick, uh -huh. but I'm actually feeling better than I sound, so I figured that I would do my birthday book shopping. So I'm just going to take you along and show you kind of how I buy books, how I determine what I'm going to keep, because as I've said multiple times on this channel, I only have so much bookshelf space and I really need to be selective with the books that I buy. Just wanted to have you guys all in on my journey and let's get started. The first place I always stop at is the exceptional value section where there's a really deep discount on books. I've had some good deals in the past, so I always look here just for that treasure. Today I found two books, which I'm super excited about. I really love The Passage by Justin Cronin, so I picked up this hardcover book for a great deal of $8. And then the second book I picked up is book four of the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks. I have books one and two. Now I have book four for $7 of hardcover. Such a deal. The next place that I usually stop at is the bestseller area. I don't always pick up something from this area, but it's just good to know what is trending and what people are interested in reading. But this, oh my goodness, this is my favorite section where I spend all of my time. And that is in the comic book area and the sci-fi fantasy section. This is more the tail end of it, but as you'll see when we go around the corner, the entire wall is sci-fi fantasy. So the first book I pick up that's caught my eye is a Steven Erickson book. I've heard about this series and I've heard it's really complex, but I figured I'm going to give it a try. I think it might be up my alley. And then Robert Jordan, I'm debating whether getting the individual books or Hi. just getting the pack of three. This book was recommended by one of the people who works at Barnes & Noble. He said it's a really good sci-fi. It's got aliens, which isn't my thing, but I thought I'd put it out there for people who do like aliens. And Unbury Carol has been on my wish list for a really long time. I love this cover and I'm so glad I got my hands on it. This here, sadly, is the fiction section. This is all of their books. And that's mystery off to the left there, but it's all their books. But I found The Secret History, and you guys know I want this book. So I pull it off the shelf, and it's got that red, ugly, sticker-looking thing that's part of the cover. Guys, I was so disappointed, and I was debating whether I really even wanted to buy the book because of it. But ultimately, I want to read the book. So just a little recap. Here are the books that I got from the store today. The City of Mirrors by Justin Cronin, which is book three of the Passage series. The Blood Mirror by Brent Weeks, which is book four of the Lightbringer series. Unbury Carol by Josh Mallerman. The Secret History by Donna Tart. Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson, which is book one of the Mazelon Book of the Fallen series. Eye of the World, which is book one. The Great Hunt, which is book two and The Dragon Reborn, which is book three of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. So in total, overall, I got eight books, which isn't too bad. I'm a little upset that I didn't get a couple of books that I was really looking for, specifically Dragons of Autumn Twilight and The Diviners, but I actually didn't hit my limit of what I was thinking of spending on books today, so... I'm going to look at some different like uh, discount bookshops and then also maybe just flat out getting them from the website for Barnes & Noble. So I'll keep you updated on if I decide to get those books or not. Hey guys, so this is kind of part two of my book haul because the books that I wanted to get weren't at the store. And so I figured, okay, I'm just going to have to order these online. So I went to the website and because I have this awesome gift card from my coworkers, I decided to get 
four more books. So let's look at them. So as you can see, I'm on the checkout page and I've decided to get book seven of the Forgotten Realm series called The Legacy because I had some money to move around as we'll see in a minute. So figured might as well get that book. And then we have Exorcist Falls by Jonathan Jans. This is a book that I've really been wanting to read ever since I read My Best Friend's Exorcism. I just find that I actually kind of like that exorcism stuff, I guess. So I really wanted to read this book, but my library doesn't have the book whatsoever. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to buy it. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. So we got that. And then Dragons of Autumn Twilight. This is a book I've already read. And as I shared in a previous video, I already bought books two through four because I loved the first book so much. But I didn't buy the first one. So I'm finally going to buy it now. And then the last book is the one that I was really wanting to buy as well, along with the Dragonlance book, which is the Diviners book one of the series because I've had book two on my shelf for a really long time. I got a really good deal on it from Barnes & Noble, that same deal that I got on the City of Mirrors and Blood Mirror, as I showed you earlier in the video. It was that same deal. So I figured, you know, I really need to get book one on my shelf as well. So as you can see, it was like, $53. And I'm like, okay, I've got $45 I can spend. Hopefully I can get it down. They have this Father's Day discount going on. And then with all of these books, there was free shipping available. So it got down to 42. So I'm pretty excited about that, that I get to buy four books for under $50. It's actually kind of rare nowadays. So I'm really happy about adding those books to my book haul for my birthday.